Is there one more dude over here? Yes. Go. Be free. <laughs> Alright. Let's go get this dude and then turn all our shit in. Wee. Ow. Whoop, no. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Why did he go back inside his cage? I'm waiting for us. You did it! By the time Bothra's guards figure out what's happened, we'll so all be not long to gone. Suspicion. I'll that run ahead and report it. to Cray. If you kill more of Bothra's guards, that'd be a big help. Hey, you actually heard me? Yeah. You're going, like, in and out, I guess. It's weird. Wait, why are you still talking? Oh, did I s swoop in without you? Yes, you did. Sorry, that I wasn't paying attention. I was so excited by the fact that I could hear you that, uh... I wasn't paying attention. Crunch. We. <laughs> All right, now we will go turn everything in. We still have that heroic we could do, but eh. unless you want to. I can't hear you, so. Oh yes, QT, good call. Hey, Morden. Yay, Morden. Man, Morden got red. I'm kind of hot. Really? <laughs> Doesn't seem like your type somehow. Slaves. Unexpected, interesting outcome. I may not be into guys, Memo, but please. I can appreciate when one is attractive, and this guy kind of is. Alright, fair enough. He's more attractive than Morden is, certainly. I did some bad work, too. But nobody said. <laughs> Modesty unnecessary. Fathra's factory damaged. Good news for Nemro. Zevan leaves bonus for freeing his slave friends. Sentimental. Illogical. Should have kept it for myself. Reward and bonus. Contract concluded. High satisfaction, yes? Farewell. Farewell. And I got a new belt that's exactly as good as my old belt. But maybe slightly prettier? Yes, we'll keep that one. <laughs> I bet Ezra you'd never come back! You just saddled me with a week's extra chores! That's my I'm sorry husband. to disappoint Always you by not being dead, side. sir. Thank you for getting the power units. Here, take the equipment we promised. I know you'll find it useful. Hope that I do, or I'll be very unhappy. That equipment ought to make you happier than an Evokai in Bogslime. We don't want to trouble you anymore, stranger. Thanks again. Thanks for the shitty boots. Yeah, this equipment makes me happy, you assholes. <laughs> These boots are not nearly as good as my current boots. Hey, hey. Don't be mean. I'm gonna pistol whip the shit out of these assholes. Be nice. Don't be dark sidey. They were trying to help. Anyway. Uh. Let's hop the taxi back to. Work camp, I guess. Can we do that? Is there a taxi stop there? All vehicles no. leave on time. We're gonna have to walk. There are others waiting. Move along. Where are you going? 
Take the one to the Jaguna speeder, it's a shorter walk from there. Oh, it's a shorter walk? Okay. We are not responsible for missed departures. Oh, yeah, you're right. So smart. SMRT. I mean, SMART. <laughs> Wait up! Jerk. Wee. Okay, I'm here. Move along. <laughs> this dude's not gonna be pleased with us. We did, but that's okay because he would have been it. pleased if you'd let me dump the damn chemicals. Yeah, but everyone would have gotten eaten by giant mutant creatures. So who cares? It's their fault for living on Hada. This place sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> I can't dispute that. I suppose. The purification station was driving violent monsters from the river and into nearby villages. You've been listening to the settlers. Listening to those hut lives. The huts pay those settlers to live by the river so everyone will think the river's safe. And then the settlers work in the industrial zone and dump more dangerous chemicals into the river. Nasty, vicious cycle, and they deserve what they get. What you're doing ain't right. No sense arguing. It's too late now. Story of my life, really. If I'd realized when I was younger what the huts were doing, I could have finished the purification myself. Too late. Too late. Please just leave me in peace. New gloves, though. And you've leveled up, hooray. Alright, let's head back to turn in our various uh, class plots and then we'll pause, I guess. Oh, motherfucker. What's great? No, I did not. Suspense is killing me. Oh shit, I never did turn the music back on, did I? Oh no, I did. Ha. Huh. Yes. Uh oh, you mean right, yes, for uh the man with the steel voice. Yes, the music was quite dramatic. Do you want to hit the trainers? Cuz uh I might just might get useful healing Anonymity, things now. Deception. Oh, wow, These are a your of, tools. A lot of stuff here. Nope, still no healing things, but lots of ways to fuck shit up. Trust no one. All set. <laughs> that 
That's mean. Why are you setting me on fire? Ow! It's not my fault your mic sucks. Don't take it out on me. Oh, stop crying. We'll get you a nice headset. <laughs> later. We'll get it later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, where are you going? Over here. Really? Wow, I definitely don't remember this. What's in here? Oh, of course I don't remember. Because my bounty hunter never did this. <laughs> wow, you're a dick. <laughs> what I found out in the swamp. Ah! I'll just, uh, leave this here. Well, that was uncomfortable. Speak for yourself. I will, thank you. All right. Uh, okay. Quanta chota, casa Yuli Koira to le cantiton. Your punctuation is bad and you should feel bad. Just no kiri macha monkey. Hold on, let me get my blaster out. This one time, I'll kill for free. <laughs> Crazy suicidal Rodians. You have the nicest friends. You're also on fire in a big way. <laughs> I don't think that was fire. Yeah, I don't know what that was. It didn't look pleasant, though. Ah, uh, I've had worse from shaving. <laughs> you set yourself on fire while shaving? No, I've had worse than being set on fire while shaving. Ah, I see. <laughs> Put me in the great hunt, Nemrel. Smila wo do pi o pi. Do di buna buna manji ka bog noni snemo. Kapa tonga chi sa bi jawongi chi kato. I remember this. Kon chuta kasu ya ikura do kandi kon. What about the credits from my last job? I hate huts so much. <laughs> I can't imagine why. You just get more and more impressive. Good to see you again. You too, girl. Glad to see you're doing so well. Here you go. Credits for the accountant. Poor little Yalt, this bossy wife. See you soon, bounty hunter. She's cute. I like her. She is. I like her a lot too, actually. She seems to have spunk. 
I think I won't kill her if the option ever arises. That's nice. You're, you're so generous. I know, I'm a sweetheart. <laughs> Total softy. Alright, let's go talk to Carol's Javis and then we will stop. Unless, do you still have a plot in here? Oh, that's right, the Beastmaster thing. We'll do that next time. Kaleo! You'll get the gory details after I report to Nemro. Figure you can wait that long? Looks like I'll have to. But you don't get... Blade, nice you decided to come by, but I was just telling Carol's I can't stay. I know you understand. Sure. That girl's a handful. But she's good at what she does, I'll give her that. What does she do, exactly? Besides Swagger and carry a blaster. Officially, she's Nemro's chief enforcer. Truth is, most of the troops are terrified of her, so she keeps our people in line more than Fathra's. Anyways, I'm glad you're here. But those explosions in the rust yards, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I took out Fathra's mining operations. I heard they were giving you trouble. <laughs> I thought you might have something to do with it. Good work, Blade. Good work. I like a person who takes initiative. With Fathra's mind broke me. down, we can increase production. Fathra will want revenge, of course, but we'll be ready. Look, I have something for you. You'll like it. I'll send it to your room. You've done good work for us. You deserve more than credits. Which reminds me, how long are you staying on Hutta? What makes you ask? Well, if you're still around in a few weeks, I'd like you to meet my sons. They'll be home from the trading expedition. I think you'd get along. Think about it is all I'm saying. Now get going. I'm sure you have other business to take care of. Are you flirting with me, Carols? Actually, I think he says that to the male hunter as well, so... Or, not hunter. Uh, agent as well, so whatever. Um, Alright. Cool. So, I can't hear your audio again, so, um, I guess we're going to pause here, though, and, uh, next time, hopefully, we'll have, uh, fewer audio issues. This is gonna be a pain to edit. Um, wait, what? Why are we waiting? Go to <laughs> You're not, you're not the boss of me. You're not my real mom. <laughs> you can't make me go to my room. <laughs> What's in my room? Oh. <laughs> Also, yeah, also, I'm in my room. I only have a one-room apartment, so I kind of already went to my room. But sure, we'll go to my room. I forget what's in my room. Something Carol's left for me. Flowers, maybe? I don't know. Come on, Luti, we don't have time to waste here. Oh, these people. Too late. Isn't that the same Rodian you, you just killed? Blade. You want to explain why you were in my room? Well, we were paid pretty well, for starters. Luthi here was installing a listening device before you interrupted. Someone wanted to know what you were up to, but I guess that plan's off now. Whatever you're being paid, I can pay more. Well, I don't really want to cross my employer. Plus, you know, we can always grab the credits off your corpse. Guns out, folks. You're fun. <laughs> That was sort of depressingly easy, actually. Uh, Carols, what did you leave for me? Ooh, a new knife! Bitchin'! There we go. Alrighty! Are we good now? Or was there... Oh no, we gotta talk to... Keeper. I understand Nemro Schwarzgast production is back on schedule, agent. Excellent work. Keep it up, and Darth Javis may lose his grip on operations. However, I'm afraid I'll force. That's why it was giving me trouble, or wasn't giving me problem. trouble. I was mispronouncing it. You mean the people who broke into my room? No, that's a separate matter, and one I advise you to watch closely. But it isn't what concerns me now. 
Shvash. There's two sh sounds in it. Apprentice in Imperial space. A dispute broke out. One son died and the other was crippled. When Carol's hears that a Sith slaughtered his child, his sympathy for the Empire will evaporate. We can no longer use him to get to Nemro. This is an intelligence project. Sith shouldn't be interfering in our work. The Sith do what they will. We don't control them and we don't pass judgment on them. That doesn't mean they are right or that we obey them without question, but we phrase those questions carefully. We bide our time. Now, I have a plan to solve our present dilemma, but first we need Carols out of the way. Are you sure that's necessary? It's unfortunate, but it's the only way to proceed. I'm sending you an interference program on a computer spike. Go to Carols' suites in the palace. Activate the spike to black out his security monitors. You'll be able to eliminate Carols and his bodyguards without being seen. When Nemro's people investigate, they'll recognize the jamming program as Republic technology. So we frame the Republic for the murder of Carol's Jarvis. Why? One step at a time, Agent. Tarthalish and Nemro's Twi'lek advisor already expect Fathur to seek revenge for the destruction of his mines. Our job is to show that the Republic helped Fathur kill Carol's. Once Carol's is gone, <laughs> speak to Tarthalish about his suspicions. Just making sure I understand friend, the situation. You promise to do whatever it takes to find the assassins. Assumptions are dangerous in my line of work, Terrain. You know that. Time to get to work. For now, get to Carol's suites and use the computer spike. We'll discuss more once Carol's is eliminated and Tarthogen's suspicions have been aroused. Keep her out. <laughs> Alright, and there we go. So, stop setting me on fire. It's very mean. <laughs> and hitting me. You see this woman? This woman is extremely mean to me. I have done nothing but be nice to her. Anyway. And this is how I'm repaid. She sets me on fire. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so, next time, uh... Tareen will go off to kill Nemro's Beastmaster and dance without her pants on, as we see here. And I will go off to kill Carol's Javis and frame the Republic for his murder. Things are getting... the stakes are rising, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Anyway, uh... Tally, anything you'd like to say before we sign off? Ow. No? Nothing? Alright. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're really enjoying this LP. Please comment and subscribe, and Tally and I will see you next time for more of Star Wars The Old Republic. Bye.